Today is the 26th of September 2023 and I'd like to talk to you about angles. Yesterday we did introduction of angles so today will be our second um, lesson on angles. Thank you to everyone who has been watching our videos. Um, please subscribe, share, like, and follow us. Okay. If you know that someone who um, these videos can help, um, I will encourage you to share and subscribe. Um, to this also, remember to ask for permission if the account is not yours. Okay. Please follow my new slash script. I always write this in the comment section. So for instance, that is 90 degrees. Okay. So if you hear 90, it's 90 degrees, right angles, um, as in angles, not degrees, as in temperature that will be 180 so follow my note is follow where the pen is going okay so it will be advisable to listen but it will be advisable also to follow the notes okay thank you very much on that beware of scammers don't be scammed okay if somebody is asking you for money under this platform, it's not me, okay? So don't be scam, okay? Don't come up with um, pathetic stories. We need money for an orphanage, for amputees, uh, anything that they can tell you, please don't fall for it. Beware of them okay and be vigilant okay um recap for the from the last lesson i introduced you to angles okay i showed you right angles which are 90 degrees with the sign okay and I view these are right angles, the horizontal and the vertical line meeting, okay, forming an angle of 90 degrees. So if you see this sign in a triangle, one of the angles is 90, okay. So the two other angles um, will add up to 90, uh, 90 as well okay because the angle in a triangle will always add up to 180. Um, straight line the angle on a straight line is 180. I introduced you to um showed you parallel lines okay like the end of two roads to uh, hopefully tomorrow we might end up talking about alternate angles, corresponding angles, supplementary angles. I don't know whether we can do all the three, but normally I like to do each one with a lot of examples. Okay, and then um, gradually we'll be able to bring all together. So we might look at this tomorrow. A full circle is 360, okay? Remember recently, we did a, the circumference of the circle. So a full circle, the angle in the center is 360. We've even done pie charts, okay? So I assume by this time, you should know this, okay? And it's the same as an angle at the point, okay? Because the center is the, is, is, uh, the point in the circle. 
Obtuse angles are more than 90 degrees, but less than 180. So any angle from uh, 91 to 179 will be classed in this range, obtuse angles. Reflex angles are more than 180, but less than 360. So any angle between 181 degrees to um, 259 will be classed under reflex angles. Acute angles are less than 90. So any angle from 0 to 89 will be classed as acute angles. We did all this yesterday, so it's just a recap. Equilateral triangle are three angles and all the three angles are equal. So each angle is 60 and I show you the sign. Okay, watch yesterday's video. Isosceles angle, two angles are equal. Okay, so you have two signs on each side where the equal angles are. Okay, and we look at some simple examples. Okay, because we need to start learning from the simple and then we go into the complex one. Now, today's data, we've done it, but just a recap again. Convert 3 over 8 to percentage. So, we need that answer in percentage, okay? So, 3 over 8 times 100 over 1. So, 3 times 100 divided by 8 times 1. On the calculator will give you 37.5 percent to one decimal place you are converting into percentage so your answer will be in percentage this is one decimal place if they ask you to leave your answer to the nearest whole number that will be 38 percent yeah Convert 5 over 11 to a percentage. So 5 over 11 times 100 divided by 1. So to one decimal place, it will be 45.5 because 5 times 100 divided by 11. To the nearest whole number, it will be 46%. Convert 7 over 12 to percentage, okay? So 7 over 12 times 100 over 1. So it will be 700 divided by 12. By now, these ones, I think you should be able to do it on your calculator. So it will be 58.3% one decimal place if they ask you to leave your answer to the nearest whole number it will be 58 percent now our last data for today convert one over eight to percentage so one over eight times hundred over one okay so hundred divided by 8 will be 12.5 percent to one decimal place okay nearest whole number it will be 13 percent so also if you are going to leave your answer you may have to read what they are asking you to do if it's a nearest whole number you do that if it's to one decimal place you do that if it's to two decimal place you do that if it's to two significant figures you do that okay thank you 
for less than. Now, measuring angles, I've shown you how to use the protractor, this one, to measure angles, okay? And I'm going to do it again. You start from zero. So, for instance, this angle is a, a, an example of an acute angle because it's less than a, a 90. Now, you always start measuring from zero. So, that is the point there, okay? You make sure your, um, yeah, so you do that, okay? So, if you look at it from zero here, okay? That will be 10. You don't start from 180. Sorry, it moved. Okay, you don't start from 180. There are two scales. So you are starting from here. So all the way to here. So that's 50. Okay, the line is a little above 50. So this is about 52 degrees from here to there, or 53. Okay, so, so here I have 53 degrees. Okay, and this is an acute angle because it's less than 53, um, 90 degrees. Now, again, that is another example of an angle. So, our point is there. Okay. Remember to always start from zero. So, this is the point. And we need a straight line. We need that place to be exactly on the straight line. Okay, so this is your zero. You are going all the way to the line. So that's 90. That is 140. And it's past 140. So 41, 42, about 43. Here I have 141 when I measured. Okay, so... um. I've just shown you again. So that is an example of, t of on a, an obtuse angle. It's greater than 90 and less than 180. So this angle is an example of obtuse. This is an example of a reflex angle here, okay? Greater than 180, but less than 360. Now, you can use the protractor here. So, the angle at the point is 360. So, I will measure this, okay, and take it from 360, and that will be my angle here. So, when we do that again, okay, When we do that again, that is from zero. So let's come from zero. All the this about sixty. So if this is sixty, the angle at the point is three sixty. So three sixty minus um sixty will give you three hundred. So this angle here, which is an example of reflex angle, is um 300 and it's more than 180 but less than 360 we saw this yesterday today i'm just trying to help you help you use your protractor okay and show you how you can measure it okay now 
Let's look at vertically opposite angles. So now we know that the angle at the point is 360. Okay, so if you have um, five angles or six angles at this point, they should all add up to 360. So if I know A and B, then I can find C. Okay. So, always remember A plus B plus C will be equal to 360. But we are going to look at something interesting here. Okay. This one is being divided into three portions. Okay, if you can see. And these three angles should add up to 360. But here, the angle at this point has been divided by two lines, okay? These are two angles which are opposite together, okay? So now here, we have four angles, okay? What it means is, a equals C and B equals D. And we call it vertically opposite angles. Because look at it, this and this are opposite. This and this are opposite. So even if I remove the vertical, okay, B and D will be equal. A and C will be equal. It's like a six six days, okay. Um yeah. So A is opposite to C, B is opposite to D. Okay. So when two lines cross, two angles opposite each other are created like they are. So these two lines are crossing. Now you have two angles opposite each other, okay, have been created. So the two opposite angles are the same. So A equals C, B equals D, okay. As I said yesterday when I was introducing the topic, your ability to know what to apply when, especially in angles and in mass, is very important, okay? So you have all this stuff. It's like um, you have all these ingredients and you want to um, make a, a stew, okay? You can't, you can't guess... Uh, put spices and stop. You might have to first season the oil with your spices and then maybe add some tomato paste or put in your meat, your boiled meat or your, or your seasoned meat. Fry it a bit. Add your tomato paste. Add some seasoning. Okay? But you can put in the seasoning first. It will taste come out well. So, what you need to apply to get your answer in mass is very important. So, this is what I'm showing we are looking at today. A equals C and B equals D. Okay. Now, Example, so you've been told this and this is 91. Even if you've been told this is 91, it's enough for you to find the other three. Because if this is 91, then that is 91. Okay. Now, if you add these two together and subtract from 360, you are going to get an angle 
divide by two, that will be this and this. So at a point, okay, your angle will be 360. So everything at the, around this point is 360. This and this are opposite. These two angles are opposite. Okay, this is where I will say follow my nose slash script. Okay. So 91 plus 91 will be 182. You take three, 182 from 360, you get 178. 178 degrees divided by 2 is 89 degrees. So this and this are 91. That and that are 89 degrees. Degrees as in angles, not as in temperature. Second example, okay? So we know this and that as well. These angles, these two angles are opposite and they are equal. So these two angles to which we are going to find, okay? are opposite and because they are opposite whatever i get for this must be the same but in the end everything around this point here should add up to 360. so 52 at 52 will give us 104 take 104 from 360 degrees you get 256 degrees then divide by 2 remember always to divide by 2 because there are two opposite equal angles you get 128 so that is 52 the opposite angle is 52 that will be 128 degrees. That will be 128 degrees. Okay. Your ability to see this in a complex um, angle situation, because they might end up bringing some more lines, but your ability to see this and use that um, angle at the point, to find this angle and then use it to solve something else will be very important. So now that you know that this is 120, assuming they draw this such that this is a right angle triangle, straight away you know that this is a right angle triangle. This is 90. Then you can find the third one. I hope I'm making some sense. Um, let's move to the next one. Okay, we know these opposite angles are 31 degrees. And we know the angle at this point is 360. So, whatever we get, so we add both, okay, 62 degrees. Take it from 360, we have 298 degrees divide by 2 we have 149 degrees so straight away this is 149 that is also 149 that will be 31 that will be 31 okay these are called vertically opposite angles okay now let's look at question four another example on that so we know this is 38 so therefore this is 38 okay we add both we have 76 we subtract 78, uh, 76 from 360 we have 284 degrees 
284 divided by 2 is 142. Remember, it's two angles, not one. So remember to always divide by 2. So here, that will be 38 degrees and they are opposite. So this will also be 38 degrees. That will be 142 as you've just found. So that will also be 142. If we add all the four angles, it should add up to 360. Okay. So assuming there's another extended uh, diagram here, and we are supposed to find the angle. Now we found one. We don't know what we have to apply here. So we we'll apply whatever we know to um, find the other one, and then we can find the third one. Okay, even if we don't know this, we can use this method to find the 142. Assuming there is another extended diagram here, and if we just know of this angle and that angle. We can find this angle here and then add it to this and whatever we get will be the third one because them, if that is a triangle, okay, we should be doing it maybe um, in the angle series that we are doing now. Now here, we know that this and this are 78 because we've been given this, okay? So we add 78 to 78, which will be 156. So we know this and we know that. We take 156 from 360, which is 204, okay? So this is 204, 204 divided by 2, okay, will be 102. Remember the division part because you are dealing with two opposite equal angles here. That will be 204, so that will be 102 degrees, 102 degrees. Again. If the guest gave us one angle here and we know maybe one angle there, okay, assuming they seal this part, then we should be able to use this knowledge and say this is 78. Use this angle to find the angle here, assuming it's a triangle. Okay, so this is what we are working towards. This is what we are working towards. I want to prepare your mind, okay? It won't just be as easy as this, but I'm trying to slowly introduce. So here, today, in this sec part, we are looking at the angle at the point. When it's vertically opposite like this, you have two opposite angles. This is how you find it. Okay. All this angle, if you add them up, it should give you 360. So you can go back and watch the video and check if they add up. I've checked so and they do add up. Okay. So tomorrow we'll look at maybe parallel angles or another type of angles. Do more examples. And as we do more angle work, we add more complex stuff to it. So that at a point, we'll be able to use all this knowledge we started learning from the last video to solve, to solve more complex um, angle work okay so yeah um 
this is what I wanted to show you today. So we've recap from the angle lesson we did yesterday. We've converted some fractions to decimals. Okay. Most of the time we use the one decimal place. And by now you should know when if they ask you to um leave the answer in the nearest whole number, you should you should bring your percentages, okay? If they ask you to leave your answer in two significant figures, you should be able to do that. I showed you how to measure angles again, which I think we've done before, by the use of um, the protractor, that you always have to start from zero here, okay? And it should be on a line, okay? We've done that before, okay? And we've looked at the three types of angles, acute, obtuse, and reflex, okay? Um, yeah. And then we've done some examples, simple examples, under vertically opposite angles, okay? Thank you so much for watching our lesson today and I'll see you in the next.